Yo, how's it going guys? It's boy LadyHT back with another video and in this video as you can guess from the title we are going to play in a tournament today. It's a FIFA tournament. Now obviously if you know my channel you know I'm not a FIFA player per se. I'm a Fortnite player but I do play FIFA on a high level some every now and then and I think more recently I've been playing more FIFA and stuff like that so I mean I've played at these tournaments before and I always get kicked out at the round of 16 or semi-finals but, or quarter-finals actually. But this time I'm feeling very confident because one of the major issues I've always had was controller. Okay, I play Xbox and most people in Nigeria play PlayStation. And all tournaments are always PlayStation controller. So I've never been really good at switching between them. It's a whole different thing. It's very annoying to just get used to um, this, the, the sticks on the PS4 controller. So for the first time, I got a PS4 controller beforehand and I practiced all night. I haven't even slept. Okay, I haven't slept and uh, I'm hoping that won't affect me too much. I'm gonna have some fearless energy drink to, uh, before I leave. I'm gonna keep some in my car as well just so <laughs> I don't pass out. But I really hope this tournament gets done really quickly because the other ones usually end up like staying up really, staying really late, like 6, 7 p.m., if not 8 p.m. So. I hope, really hope that's not the case because I'm going to pass out. I'm going to fall asleep if, if that's the case. I haven't slept. I've literally played all night practicing. On, I'm actually kind of good with PS4 controller if I'm playing like literally five, six hours all night. So, yeah, I think that was a good choice. I don't know if it was, we'll find out if it was a good choice when <laughs> when I start dozing up. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, so I'm at the location now and uh, I'm 15 minutes early. I hope it starts on time to be honest. I don't think it will, you know, African time and all that. I don't think it will, but like, I hope it does because I'm starting to feel a little bit sleepy now. I can't like, I'm starting to feel tired. But yeah, I'm gonna go inside. I think from here, from here on out, it's gonna be a voiceover because it's probably gonna be very loud inside. So it's gonna be a voiceover from here on out. And uh, I'll just let you guys know how it goes. Well, good luck to me. All right guys, so we're back home now and uh, so just <laughs> I lost. Okay, I got kicked out. If I in the at least it's pretty much been one of my worst defeats in any other FIFA tournament. Usually I make it to like round of sixteen and stuff. I have quarterfinals if I get kicked out. But I lost in the group stage, guys. I lost in the group stage. And um, where do I start? <laughs> I mean, again, the same thing keeps happening every single time. There's been that past three. I just, I come to this tournament with a, a certain mentality, a certain structure, a certain what you're used to, you know, and then you're, but you're given something else and it's hard to adjust and that just ultimately causes you to lose. Okay. What do I mean? So basically, my games went like this. The first game, I lost my first game, 1 0. And uh, I won my second game. 1-0 and then my final game I drew 2-2 it was a league style format you know like proper like leagues like Champions League style format that kind of stuff where point system you know the four of you in a group uh one of the most points and stuff like that and uh, I was in group A and uh already when I heard the names of people that were in the group because apparently already called the group of death I already, I only knew one person from the group based before who also, who also traveled with to um, Ivory Coast he's one, he's one of the best FIFA players in Nigeria hands down no question it's He's one of the best, if not it's like top two, top two, top three in like the whole of Nigeria. He's, he's one that goes out of the country and stuff like that to uh, compete and represent Nigeria in major FIFA tournaments. So, and also one of the highest gamers, highest earning gamers in Nigeria. So, I knew him, but then when he himself made the statement, "Oh, look at this group of death," like with me, him, and two other guys I, I've never met before, well, who are friends. I was already like, whoa, what is this, man? I already have the, the, the tough. I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not a trained, I'm not a professional FIFA player. I play um, Fortnite professionally. I just play FIFA on the side at a high level, not professionally, but a high level, you know? So already being given, put, put in a group of deaths was already like, come on, man, come on, really? But uh, yeah, I lost my first game. And now I'm going to give you some, I'm going to tell you guys something that would, uh, that I would want you to make your own conclusion of. So, my first game was with the worst person in the group, like the worst player in the group, and I lost to him. My second game game was the best player in the group, the person I just mentioned, Arugs, and I beat him. And my third player, my third game was with the other next best player in the, in the group, and I drew with him. What does that tell you? All right, let me now explain what I mean. The first game, it's f first off PS4. All right, PS4. I play FIFA on PC. I play on PC, I use an Xbox controller. 
luckily my friend gave me his um ps4 controller um a few days ago but i never really used it i, I just had it here just when i when, when i want to play um with people that come over and stuff like that and they like to complain that OX they don't like his xbox controller so i give them a ps4 controller that was the idea i'm still gonna end up buying another one and i didn't end up using it until the night before which was last night when i practiced on it because i knew i was going to play ps4 so i was like i need to practice ps4 controller so i literally had six hours to get good on the ps4 controller but by the way it's a different controller it's 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 if i never actually really got used to it especially when it comes to attack i never got used to it i didn't know i didn't know let us just defend and that's exactly what my place that i was defending and that's number one the controller number two the ps4 itself the gameplay experience it's so i play on pc game i've said it already I get over 60 FPS on FIFA. You, you guys know the if for those of you on Fortnite gamers, I didn't to explain to you. And if I did FIFA players, I might to explain to you. But the gaming experience is different. Things are smoother, things are react better, things are faster, things are just better on PC. So when I went to play on a choppy PS4 that was just laggy, slow, annoying, irritating, it messed me up big time. And that's exactly why I made that statement earlier. I lost the worst player, but I beat in the next one. Because I, I had four minutes. So that's another thing. They, usually FIFA games like six, eight minutes, I believe, online online. And then the tournament is like four minutes because they want to get you everyone else will sleep there. No. So I don't I don't I don't blame them. But at least we had my first game to try and get used to the PS4 gameplay and the PS4 uh, system and everything because it is literally choppy it's disgusting it's annoying i was so frustrated you're gonna see i'm gonna put in up clips you guys you see the look on my face it was just not what i was used to playing on and it was so annoying and that's why I, I couldn't attack all i could do was defend 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 if i tried to attack it was just slow sluggish and these guys are used to it. this is what they play on i'm not used to it but then that first game got me used to it enough to know how to counter attack and that's exactly why I did against Arox. You know, when you know, when I when I knew I was playing Arox and after losing my first game, I was really like, you know what, it's over. I already gave up. I was like, Arox next after I lose my first game, I'm going to lose this one again. So what's the point? But then I took him seriously. I was like, you know what? I know he's really good, and I'm used to playing really good players. They have a certain style of play that if you're not used to it, you're going to lose. You cannot defend against them. They have this comical contextual agile dribbling. It's a new thing in FIFA. We use R1 to move. And I'm used to it playing online ultimate. I play against all the best players in the world. I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm happy. I've beaten I'm happy before. Like I give you guys know this player thing, I give him a good game and stuff like that. So like I'm used to playing against those kind of really high uh high class FIFA players and exam what, what I expected was what happened. This guy tried yo, no one believed it when they found that I beat him. If he didn't even say with his own mouth that I beat him. No one would believe it. Everyone would think he went easy on me or he gave me a win. This guy did not go easy on me. And I wish he went easy on me. I was literally like, in my head, I was like, yo, yo, Arox, please now. I know you can beat everybody else. Let me qualify. Let me win now. <laughs> you know, that was in my head. I didn't say that to him, but that was in my head. He did not, almost, this guy, <laughs> this guy wanted to kill me. Yo, you need to see how I was defending. He was so frustrated because I was predicting him to the T. This is why I mean myself, I'm used to it. I predicted him to the, it's, it's like I was reading his mind. He couldn't understand it. I was stopping his every attack and now counter attack. And obviously he's good at, he's good at the game. So it was very difficult. I literally had one chance the entire game and I won the game. And then crazy thing that happened. Which I said to God, I, this, you know, I deep, yeah, deep, especially after falling asleep and thinking about it, I was like, wait, this was sabotage, Loki. So something happened in my final game. Someone came to me, the one that was watching my games, because again, everybody was shocked. Even some people started to watch my game, like, wow, how would this guy beat our rogues and stuff like that? Someone came to me and put my mind at ease, even though I wish he, I wish I, my mind was not at ease, because I want to have missed stuff like that. He was like, oh, you've won the game, you lost the game. This guy also won the game and lost the game. All you, got, all you need to do right now is draw. And then you win on uh so you win. I don't know why in the hell I heard that and I was like, oh yes, that makes sense. Yes, uh all I need to do right now is draw and I'm going to win. I don't know how I how I thought that made sense. Well, because obviously it didn't. I needed to win. Because Lord knows how many goals he had on he has against his other opponents, and he's gonna go go by head uh, by point difference, and that's exactly what happened. But then I didn't know at the time. I again I was sleepy, as you guys could tell, I was tired. So like already I was like, yeah, okay, I just need to draw. He scored the first goal, he scored another one, he scored another one, and I scored another goal. And there was like I think 15 to 20 minutes left. I could have attacked. If I knew I needed to win, I could have attacked. I had so many chances against this guy. 
this guy i had so many chances it was not even a fair game i was just because again i said i don't know how to attack on this ps4 controller it's so difficult moving the sticks the position of the sticks are just different to me so i don't really especially when i'm running through the wings i don't know how to turn this way you're going straight and then like this and if i try to turn like this it just keep going straight and that thing messes me up so many times so I didn't know how to attack it this, against this guy. And when I was on, I was on two two. I felt confident. I was like, yeah, I've qualified. You know, based on what that guy said, a random stranger. Which guys, please, if you're a tournament, don't let a random stranger tell you things. Focus on yourself and think for yourself. Again, it's because I was sleepy. I didn't think things through. I hadn't slept enough, so my head was not functioning on the hundred <laughs> percent. But do not let anyone tell you shit. Oh my god, I was so confident. You know, when it was two two, the game ended. I was like. Yes, I'll call it for my next thing out. And then next thing, the same guy, the same motherfucking guy comes in front of me and is like, Ah, oh, bro, you lost. Yeah, I was like, I lost. It was like, I drew down. I was, I was like, No, he had more goals in, in, his, in the second game. So you, he, he qualifies on Goldie Friends. You lost on Goldie Friends. That's a shame. And you, can you imagine you beat our rogues? How do you beat our rogues and lose and lose to anybody else? He's literally one of the best players. How do you beat him and lose to anybody else? And I just look at him like, like you want to, they want to, they want to take me to fire you too. <laughs> you're the one that told me I should draw. I didn't say this in my head. I was like, you're the one that told me I should draw. I went, oh god, uh, but it's fine, Sha. That's my fault. I shouldn't have listened to him. I shouldn't. I should be focused on myself and stuff like that. But again, I don't want to make too many excuses. It was a good tournament. But one thing's for sure. Also, by the way, it's not over. It's not like I said. It was like a full form. It's a, it's a league. It's a league style tournament. So there'll be constant tournaments. I think every month. Next one is next month. I'm gonna go play in that as well. But this time, I'm taking my PC and my monitor. I don't, I'm not playing on PS4. I'm gonna play on what I'm used to. It's again, it's a better experience. I'm gonna take my PC and you can use your PS4 or PS4 controller on it. So there's no excuse. I'm gonna take my PC, my monitor, and I'm gonna use my Xbox controller. There is no way in hell I'm not making semi-finals. No way. At least semis, if I'm allowed to do that. If I'm not allowed to do that, I don't think I have any hope because I cannot play on PS4 and PS1. It's, it's just not what I play on. So it, I'm already at a disadvantage in that in that aspect. I really can't. But um Yeah, th there was a positive though that did happen at the end of, all of all of this. I uh, ended up bagging an interview with uh, TVC News Nigeria and uh you guys know I didn't mess up for sure. Like <laughs> thank God for being very I think I'm very confident on camera and I'm not very shy and stuff like that. So I literally spoke freely. I educated the masses on what esports is, you know, to the layman and then to people that don't really understand. You know, just to start to get rid of that narrative, because that's what we need to try and do, guys, is in the esports community. We need to try to send, start telling like getting rid of that negative mentality that Nigerians have towards gaming and esports in general. So that's exactly what I did. By using myself as a case uh, sample of what I've been able to achieve with esports and what I could still achieve and what everyone else in Nigeria could still achieve in uh, esports. But yeah, that's pretty much this video, guys. So um, next week I'm going to be uploading, guys. This is something you guys won't be all going to be interested in. Uh, make sure make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if, if you want, and turn on post notifications as well so you don't miss the next video. The next video is going to be where I rank the best internet service provider in nigeria yes this video is for people coming from the abroad <laughs> coming from living in nigeria and you're like oh because i obviously everyone's been in that situation if you've been out of nigeria for too long or even if you're still living in nigeria you don't even know what the best internet service provider is for you and you and you and it's too expensive to, to end up trying everything but well here you go here's a case sample who's, who's spent all that money trying every single one out so i'm going to record that video now and i'll upload it to you after this one maybe later during the day all right it's been your boy lad hg and uh well wish me luck in the next one next month i'm definitely taking my if i think if i can take my pc and monitor i'm definitely winning it trust me guys trust me i'm definitely winning it all right and also i even forgot to mention actually Technically, I didn't actually lose from the tournament. There was something called um, Best Loser that I could have qualified for, which is pretty much out of all the games, there's a way you can get into the round of 16 based on the fact that you were the best loser from the group stages. What I mean by that is that maybe you won a game, you had the considered the least amount of goals and stuff like that. So you can technically qualify to be the best loser as per someone that you didn't really deserve to get kicked out. You know, you get what I mean, that kind of thing. That's what uh, best loser is. And I could have qualified for that. And I was told to wait because I could have qualified because I won my game and I, I didn't consider a lot of goals. But it was around 3 p.m. I hadn't slept for about 16 hours. My body was just not, I was like, you know what? Even if I do qualify, 
how, considering how tired I am, there's no way I'll be able to beat anyone. So I was just like, yeah, I'm just going. It's not what's happening next month. Let me just go home. I'll just be more prepared for that one next time. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So, all right. So drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.